I used to play fighting games. I figured that it would be awesome to do it again. So I just bought Tekken 7. How is it possible that game from 2017 is more than 44 gigs? And 40 dollars by the way. Anyway, it's downloading. Hope it's worth it. I managed to implement a couple of cool stuff into the game. First thing is a map. It took me three days to make it, but I'm super happy about how it looks and works. Even though it's pretty much a menu for a campaign, player will see it a lot and I want it to look nice and shiny. There are still a few things to polish, but it's pretty much done. In this scene, player will make decisions about which battles to partake in and which ones to skip. Other than map, few new items are implemented. Catapult. Player places it on the ground in general direction of the enemy troops. It fires automatically when enemy unit walks through its view cone, and it does it with a considerable force. It's very satisfying to watch affected troops fly across the battlefield. Even though it's pretty powerful, the chance of getting it as a reward will be high, mostly because I like it and I think it looks cool. Abatis. Abatis is a word that I learned just a couple of days ago. If you're a moron like myself, it's pretty much prickly shit that you place on the ground to make it difficult to move troops through the battlefield. Not too much to it, player places it on the ground to hinder enemy troops movement. Fake bush. As the name states, it's a bush that is fake. After placing it on the ground, player can hide his units inside of it, just like he would in a regular bush. Also, I painted info cards for units, spells and items. Check these out. That's pretty much it for this week. If you'd like to support me, add Gallic Wars to your Steam wish list. Link is in the description. And of course, like, subscribe and all that good YouTube shit. Stay safe, Matt Gamesmith, out.